Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you here. Today is a mixture of just a couple of things that I think will really inspire you. Um, I have a few things I'll show here at the end, but I want to focus on my mom's journals and supplies that she sent. A lot of you are fans of hers, Elizabeth Knapp, for sure. And she came to visit me this past weekend and brought a few things for me to put in the shop. So I thought that you would like to see what she's made. We're going to start off with some journal cards. And I really hope this inspires you as well. This channel is not all just about what you can buy and purchasing things. It's about being inspired to create something similar, similar out of your own stash. So she made these journal cards um, with these baby animals from a book, and it was a book that she said was, uh, I think it was old and kind of falling apart, and she um, upcycled it, rescued it. So they're all of these baby animals. They're stitched onto um, paper, but they're, this is a heavier book. So these are really nice weight journal cards. They're stitched and then they're also decorated. So there's the panda, bunny, deer. There's the possum. The Did I say there's a panda bear, the brown bear, the, well, I think it's like a lynx or a wild, some kind of wild cat. It looks like a raccoon and then there's a cougar. So they're so cute. I know that they'll go perfect in a journal you could even they're so adorable I would actually even use them as um, an image on the front of a cover as a focal image you could do a set of journals too it would make a great Christmas gift has that have this as the focal image on the front talking about Christmas we have the 12 days of Christmas journal cards so these were from a book that she Put together she took it apart and she put together these journal cards and it's the 12 days of Christmas and they have um, stamping on the back of them as well some kind of Christmas stamp on the back of them they're stitched around and embellished beautifully look at the embellishments aren't those gorgeous little, little hearts and little pieces of lace so it's all 12 we have the whole 12 days of Christmas. Perfect for a December daily. And then she made some of these last time I listed, or not last time, the time before I listed items. But this one here, these are just little scrap packs that have playing cards, a few different, um, parts of linens and hankies and then a few like broken pieces of jewelry or dangles hat pins different things that um, you can use that coordinate with the colors this is beautiful so since yellow and brown get it back in there and this one looks like it's more orangey red orangey I'll take it out of the plastic so it's not glaring. Isn't that beautiful? These are all just parts. It's not the whole hanky. It's just a part of a hanky. You can use those to wrap around the spine of a journal. Anyway, lots of pretties. They all coordinate. So if you're doing a journal or you like to keep coordinated supplies together, these would all work beautifully or if you're like me and rarely keep coordinating things together and like to just build my stash oh she's named it on the back this one's called linens and lace uh, colors of fall uh, trying to get it back in here well I will fiddle with this off camera she didn't name no she didn't name the other one all right I don't want to fiddle too much on camera there we go and then there's two Christmas ones with uh, cardinals. I'm not going to take them out of the plastic uh, this time, but I think you can see those. I'll just tip it so there's no glare. Isn't that beautiful? They're each different, but they coordinate. You get the same cards, but and some of the same linens, but there are definitely differences. And as usual, the noise you hear in the background is now my dog. 
All right, and then she sent two journals. So a little more of a, it doesn't have to be fall, but it could be. And then a Christmas one we'll get to in a minute. This is an upcycled, so this was just a plain paper journal that instead of binding, it was already pre-bound, she just decorated. So here's the edges. It says thinking there's apples on it. And I'll just do a quick flip through here. I definitely think it is fall themed, but it really could just be nature themed as well. Of course, apples. I live near an apple orchard. Oh, there's pumpkin patch. So yeah, I would kind of say fall themed. Isn't it pretty? Lots of stenciling. Look at the little tags. So pretty. This flips out here coffee dyed. Oh. Gorgeous colors. Pretty journal cards to write on. So these white pages have been stenciled so that they don't look stark white. There's some hand, I think this is handmade paper, like artisan paper that she said she found at an estate sale. I think it was a state garage sale, something like that. These are Courier and Ives on the inside covers. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. I know somebody will love that. And then her Christmas one, it's really like a felt, uh, feel to it. Beautiful spine with the little buttons, wooden buttons. Little doily and a snowflake on the front. Here's the edges. Little candy cane tags hanging off as well. Look at how pretty. So very bright Christmas colors. The traditional reds and greens. Silent night, holy night. Little Christmas um, journal cards, beautiful stamping, the owl, I think it's a Christmas card, Isn't that beautiful, yeah, the tuck spot is made out of ribbons, winter bird scenes, this is gorgeous for your Christmas journal for the year. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Beautiful. Got winter birds. I think these are vintage bird pages. Gorgeous stamping. These are those playing cards from the kits I just showed you. So they work great for tuck spots. Very beautiful. Gorgeous edging. Makes me want to start on some Christmas journals. I haven't even really been focusing on any kind of Christmas. Not really. But this is making me think about it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and I love what she did here. So this is one of my journal, um, floral journal labels, but it had more of a summer flower and she just put a Christmas poinsettia over that part of it and then backed it and can be used perfectly. There's always ways to adapt what you have to create something new. So that was everything from her, but I have a couple things, other things just to show you here at the end. Um, Connie, my mother-in-law, so Elizabeth's my mother, Connie's my mother-in-law. Um, my mother lives in North Carolina and my mother-in-law lives here with us. So I know it gets confusing sometimes. These are crocheted buttons. Look at what she did. Isn't that amazing? It would be so fun on the front of a journal. So that's a set of four. These are pretty big and then these are medium size. So really fun crocheted buttons. Got a set of those. And then some, um, 
butterfly paper clips, gold paper clips with the hand crocheted butterflies on them. And then we have a tassel set from her as well. So this one is teal. There's some dangles that go with it. I'll add um, bow pins onto the cute little tassels on the ends. Very cute. And then yesterday, so I'll show you what I made yesterday. I was working through a wallpaper book, trying to finish it up and move it out of my craft room. And I decided to make some stitched pouch sets. Um, I've made some of these in the past. I usually use cardstock but I wanted to do wallpaper. I think the durability of wallpaper is amazing. And then there's so many ways you can use them. So I have a few sets here. They all coordinate beautifully. These are eight, it's eight by five probably. Let's see. Yep, about, about eight by five. So here's this set. They, these ones all have lace stitched on them. And then they're stitched. There's plenty of room for you to organize ephemera. You can also sew it into a journal signature right here at the flap, if you wish. They're great for happy mail. They're great for um, filling with goodies and adding with a journal. There's so many things you can do with them. So I have that set. That's the only set with lace. Here's another set. See the gorgeous flowers on that one. This one has flowers too. I guess I'll pull them out. I didn't want to have to fiddle with untying them, but I really want you to see the wallpaper here. So look at those florals. Isn't that beautiful? More florals. So there's two florals and two they're not really solids, but pretty much coordinating solids. There's that set. Then I have a very neutral vintage type set. It's not vintage wallpaper, but it has those colors. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you can take these and collage them up, use it as a base. I also like to keep pouches like this just to store journal cards, um, longer bookmarks, things like that. That one gorgeous. So there's a neutral set there. If you order a couple sets, you can always mix and match, add some in Happy Mail. They make great envelopes for gift cards and other things like that. And there's this set. So there's stripes and florals, very subtle florals, pretty meadow florals. This one's tied with sari silk closure. And then there's this one. Here's what they look like on the back. Really pretty. So many uses. And then there is a mini version. I did one mini version and I think it's of the neutral set. Let's see. So the mini version is five by three and a half. It's made exactly the same way. It's just teeny tiny. These are great for on, um, gluing on a page, making a pocket. You could sew them into a signature if you wanted. This is the same as the bigger neutral one. I just had the cutoffs were big enough to make a little set of pouches. So that's what I worked on yesterday in my crafting time. These are all in Lindsay's handmade section. Um, Connie's goodies are in Marketplace Supplies and my mother's journals are in Marketplace journals and the rest of her little kits and things here are in Marketplace supplies. I hope you'll enjoy all of this inspiration, inspire you to create some things from your stash today. 
And tomorrow we're, we are back at more journals, more challenge journals. So make sure you've given this video a thumbs up and subscribed. And I can't wait to see you back tomorrow.